Shalom covering. I'm Stephen Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Yet tensions growing even greater and greater in southern Syria. If you remember, a few days ago we spoke about Isaiah 17, the prophecy being fulfilled in the very near future as U.S. and British forces are joining with the Free Syrian Army, Jordanian forces, and even the Norwegian Special Forces crossing into southern Syria, setting up what it calls safe zones or deconfliction zones, as it's being reported. The Russian insider has also brought out just moments ago that the U.S. Extends, is extending its occupation zone in southern Syria. Pentagon sets up another U.S. base in southern Syria, gobbling up more Syrian territory for its deconfliction zones. Now they actually got this from a uh, from a uh, article, or excuse me, a tweet here from uh, Hamrabi's Justice it says uh, U.S. forces uh, uh, near MAT set up a new garrison. Uh, giving the details on that, Pentagon-sponsored rebels of Maghawir al tawar commandos of the revolution, have reported that they have set up a second outpost in Syria with the Americans. Uh, now, this is something that, as we can see, is only going to escalate uh, as far as fighting in that region there with U.S. forces going across. Will the Syrian military uh, engage with them? Will the Iranians engage with them? And no doubt, if and when they do, which I'm sure they will, then the U.S. will step up its own battle against uh, the Iranian and Syrian forces and justify a reasoning reason for taking down Damascus as well as even removing Iran from power for even being in the country to begin with. Now we see that the tensions are already rising as it's reported by Middle East Monitor and we reported earlier today already the Syrian opposition say Syrian army plane downed east of Damascus. We've seen actual evidence of the plane being downed and the wreckage on the ground. Uh, Syrian military I believe has also confirmed that this was, was taken down and on top of it I mentioned to you about a map of what it looks like uh, there inside of Syria. Who has what? The pinkish area here on your map. This here is what the Syrian military has all the way down to Dada right here. And of course, as I said, there was a hot spot there of ISIS near Damascus. Uh, but at this point here, the arrow on your map, this is where the Free Syrian Army is pushing against uh, uh, Syrian forces and also Russian special forces here in Al Swade. Now the Free Syrian Army is pushing with U.S. military equipment. They've been uh, given some advanced systems there to be able to launch against the uh, Syrian government of President Bashar al-Assad and to try to take this territory. We have some video footage here of using uh, some grad launchers already against the Syrian military by the Free Syrian Army inside uh, down near the Syrian area near uh, Al Swade. Also, other uh, reports here. This is the Free Syrian Army uh, with their nice Toyotas and, of course, some of the U.S. Uh, uh, military equipment that they are using in the battle against President Bashar al-Assad's forces and seemingly to do very well with some of this specially made U.S. equipment that they're using there. Now, we reported a little while back Russian special forces are moving closer to U.S. forces in Syria, and that was based on the Levant, Levant Times. Russian special forces arrived in southern Syria after U.S. strike on an army convoy, which was at al Tanf. And, uh, and by the way, that being, let's see, back up just real quick here. Can't see al Tanf in the picture here, but al Tanf is further here to the east right here. And Russia moving in right here, their special forces here. Now, it's kind of interesting that they've sent immediately the Free Syrian Army in there to, uh, I guess, push the Russian forces out of there because uh, it's clear that the U.S. would rather see the Free Syrian Army gain complete control around the border with Jordan. Uh, so, no doubt, things not looking very good. And as I said before, to me, it's a, it's a push, and it'll be a push to win... Uh, 
whether it be the Damascus or whether it be the Iranians that strike at U.S. forces there that are in the southern part of Syria. Once that happens, no doubt that will be the justification to take down Damascus. And of course, then we're looking at the prophecy, Damascus is taken away from being a city and it shall be a ruinous heap. So I'm sure that the uh, Assad government will fight uh, to the death to be able to, to maintain this city says the cities of Aurora are forsaken, they shall be fl uh, for flocks which shall lie down and none shall make them afraid. But don't forget, as I've shared with you already, the fortress also shall cease from Ephraim and the kingdom from Damascus. And the remnant of Aram, or the remnant of Syria, shall be as the glory of the children of Israel, saith the Lord of hosts. That's, remember that, the fortress also shall cease from Ephraim. So once the U.S., uh, so with the support of the Free Syrian Army, ISIS is well working uh, for the same goal to topple Bashar al-Assad once this is actually done, that fortress for Ephraim. Ephraim representing those children of Israel that believed 2,000 years ago that Jesus was the Messiah, ended up setting up the oldest known Christian churches in the world is there in Damascus. And of course, once Damascus is taken down as a government, Bashar al-Assad removed from power, we will see this prophecy actually being fulfilled. Now, I want to share with you one other interesting insight, too. This is from Isaiah chapter 9. It says uh, in uh, verse 19, And one snatcheth on the right hand, and is hungry, and they eateth the left hand, and is not satisfied. They eat every man the flesh of his own arm. Manasseh, Ephraim, Ephraim, Manasseh. And they together are uh, it says against Judah, but it literally in Hebrew, it's all over Judah. Uh, for all this, his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. What are we looking at right here? Ephraim and Manasseh. The Ephraim and Manasseh that became the Christians, like we see there in Damascus, are also representative of Rome and the British Empire, and the British Empire extending its arm all the way into the United States, representing that of the Protestant beliefs and that of the Catholic belief. Both of these groups here sending in, making war, killing one another at each other's throats, eating what, when it speaks about eating their arm or their hand there, it is speaking about their military power. It speaks about the fighting. And yet they're both against or over Judah. Uh, it's just terrible, guys. It's really bad. We are definitely on the verge of seeing major prophecies being fulfilled. Uh, and of course, the, the situation that is happening on the ground there is what we've expected that would happen. Uh, and naturally, the Free Syrian Army that will lead the way, uh, being backed by U.S. British forces there. And like I said, if they were to be attacked by the, free, uh, by the Syrian Army, or even that of the Russian Army, it could definitely spiral completely out of control. Not looking good at all. And, uh, but uh, what can we expect? War is definitely nothing nice at all to be seen. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Arab Tov. Shalom.